Hi guys, welcome back to this week's tennis lesson. Okay, so we've now worked on all of the main strokes in tennis. So that is the forehand on that side, the backhand on that side, our serve overhead, and also our forehand and backhand volleys. Okay, but so far we've been mostly working on our shadow tennis. Okay, that's when we've been working just on the motion and the technique of each of the shots without using the ball. Okay, some of you might have been able to add the ball in and that's great, but a lot of you may not have. So I'm gonna really encourage you guys this week, if you can, to try and use and introduce the ball, okay? Because apart from anything, that'd be a lot more fun for you, okay? And it's much more like actual tennis where you're gonna be hitting the ball, okay? So I wanna really encourage that. So we're gonna go back to working on our forehand and our backhand ground strokes, okay? Because they're gonna be the most common and most used shots that you'll do uh, when you start playing tennis again, okay? And I want you to practice, if you can, with enough space in front of you to uh, practice hitting a static ball. So by that, I mean you'll be dropping the ball yourself. You won't need anyone else to help you with this. You just drop the ball in front of you on either side, okay? And then you practice hitting the ball from there. Just up like that, and then you'd step in and practice hitting your shots. Okay, same on the other side for your backhand side. You'd throw it up like that. You'd step through and practice hitting your backhand, okay? Obviously for this, you will need a little bit of space in front of you to hit your shot into and to do it safely. So either in your garden, if you have enough space, or if you can get to a park, or even if you're lucky enough to have access to an actual tennis court, that would be even better, okay? But probably a lot of, a lot of you won't have that. So just do the best you can with, the, uh, with whatever space you, uh, you have, okay? The three key things I want you to focus on when you're doing and practicing your shots, okay? First of all is about the height that you hit the ball at. So you want it to be roughly hip height, okay? In tennis, you won't always be hitting the ball at the same height each time, it will vary. But try and, if you can, as, many, as, as often as you can, to hit the ball around this sort of height, so in line with your hips roughly, okay? That's the first point. Second point, you want to think about how far away you're hitting the ball from your body. So you don't want to be hitting it really close to your body on either side, okay? And you also don't want to be stretching too far out on either side, okay? You want to be comfortably at a fully extended arm distance, roughly, okay? Like that on that side for the forehand, and on the backhand, like that. Okay, so think about that as well, that's the second point. And lastly, think about how high you hit the ball out into, okay? So obviously you don't wanna be hitting it straight down into the ground and you don't wanna be whacking it really high in the air, okay? A tennis net is roughly a meter high, give or take, okay? So you can either, if you wanted to, mark out some kind of marker with um, that kind of height so you can have something to aim for, or you can just imagine roughly something that's a meter height and you can practice hitting the ball roughly a little bit higher than that. So it would, in a match, it would go over the net, okay? So give that a go, guys. Practice on both sides, throwing the ball to either side and practicing hitting your stroke, keeping the technique as good as you can, okay? And thinking about those three key points, okay? But have fun, guys. Try and get outside, try and enjoy it, okay? Good luck, have fun.